So today we're going to be installing Outre Melted Hairline Dion. So Dion, let's see what she gives. And y'all already know what she gave because of the intro. But this is what she looks like when she comes straight out the packaging. Y'all, I love how it feels. And let's get into the hairline. That hairline was hairlining, okay? I love, love, love Outre laces. They're so comfortable. They're very much see-through. They're giving like transparent vibes, you know. But this is just the overall construction. So this is the first time I'm putting her on my head and for my big head girls out there, y'all, this wig is for us, okay? Because it fits perfectly. It's a lot of lot of lace, okay? So yeah, um, it also comes with an elastic band so you can wear it glueless, but look at the hairline, y'all, okay? It's given. So off camera, I went and intended the lace. I used the Red by Kisses Evan lace tint of course i'm putting the elastic band on just to see how it feels and baby it's it's snug now if you want to wear it glueless you can it, it's gonna slide back towards the center i feel like the elastic band definitely holds it in place in the center but you would have to go in and you know secure down the sides now the tinted spray did get a little bit on the hair strand so i'm just going in with the makeup wipe and remove the excess lace tint so boom, we're going in with our scissors and we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the lace. I cut fairly close to the hairline like I always say in every video, the less the lace, the easier it is to blend. But y'all can't tell me nothing because I'll try in this lace, the way that's just mounting into my forehead, y'all, it is ridiculous. Like I said, I love, love, love Outre laces. It's so comfortable. It's not hard. It's not scrunchy. It just feels good on the skin, okay? But yeah, I'm just cutting off the ear tabs and part in sections really helps me. Now I'm just taking a makeup wipe again and I'm just going to remove the makeup around my hairline because I feel like it just, you know, it helps my install look more flawless. Anyway, I'm taking my favorite even lace um, adhesive spray and I just put like one to two layers of that. I wait till it's tacky and then I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, lay down that lace. And y'all can see that lace just disappeared, y'all. It really melted into my forehead. So the combination of that lace spray and that lace tint, y'all, I'm telling you. This is this is the only way you can bleach not. Synthetic units cannot be bleached. I know a lot of people are wondering. Yeah, no, girl. This is the only bleaching you're going to do. But I feel like it still gives the same results as if you bleached the knots because what knots, okay? Now here I'm just taking my comb and just, you know, rigging it through the hairline because I did get a little bit more hairspray on the outside of the lace and I don't like when it crunches up and turns white and all that stuff. So I always, I did this before I actually um, added the heat because I didn't want it hard and crunchy and flaky. When you do get a buildup of hairspray, just take your uh, the teeth of your comb and just run it through that hairline before and during adding the heat so it won't be hard and stuck together. Now, when I'm securing down the uh, the sides of my lace, I always add a, a lot more product because the sides tend to lift up easier than anything else. So be sure just to add a little bit more product to the sides so it can lay down all day, okay? Okay. 
So now I'm going in with my handy dandy uh, elastic band. Y'all, I love Amazon elastic bands, y'all. This melts the lace. You don't need to leave it on because it actually snatches that hairline, okay? So three minutes tops. While that is melting, I'm taking a wide tooth comb and I'm actually going in to detangle the hair for the first time. And baby, to my surprise, that comb was just gliding through the hair, y'all. I love the texture of this hair. I love that, you know, blown out look, but also the layered curls. This wig does look a little bit shiny. You know, you could go in and actually dull it down. But like I always say, y'all, I never personally dull down my units, but if you want to, you can. I, I just like it like it is. Um, You see a few tangles on that side. We're just gonna, you know, gently detangle that but y'all this hair texture is everything i love 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 it okay the fullness the density and like i say it's about to get spring outside so this length is perfect so we're gonna go ahead and take off the band and boom Y'all can't tell me nothing because the hairline is hairline-ing. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Now, the part look a little crooked, so we're going to try to fix that up. I thought it was just the way I, you know, installed it. But they do give you a middle part if you struggle. It does come with a middle part, but during, you know, installing, the part can, you know, get a little lost in the sauce. Just take your comb and, you know, just fix it up to the best of your abilities. Mine's go always go get crookeder before it gets actually straight into the point, so... Um, yeah, I just play with this part a little bit because, girl, I don't be knowing where the center of my head is sometimes. So, we're going to go in with my Kiss Cream Foundation, and we're just going to go ahead and define the part. I try not to lose a brighter, brighter shade because it gets wiggy vibes, and I just want the part to look super, super natural and not blunt. You know, sometimes I used a lighter shade in that middle part, and it was getting fake. But anyway, y'all, I'm just going in to create some baby hairs to each its own. You do not have to do this. I just took a little section of the hair out and I, you know, cut at an angle and I'm just using my gummy wax to um, do my baby hairs. Now, like I said, with this product in particular, it's a light hold. If you want something stronger, I always use got to be glue, like if you don't want it moved throughout the day. But the gummy wax really works wonders. I put my... Um, elastic band not elastic band like a scarf or something on it to lay it in place and then you know i just go on about my day so um you can also curl your baby hairs as well i was just too lazy to do it this day and i was actually on a time crunch so yeah but now i'm going in with my sebastian shaper hairspray and i love this spray because you can use it on synthetic hair you can use it on human hair and baby it still get the job done okay okay so i'm just hot combing it i do have my dial on five it's pretty much the lowest heating setting and i'm just putting a little bump towards the uh, front of the wig because like sis it looks a little bland and dry and i just feel like your your own personal touches really does the wig wonders okay wonders So, what was I doing here? I don't even know. I think I was going in to, you know, do a little more hot combing towards the top, and that's it. But, y'all, I am obsessed. This is the perfect unit for the spring and the summer. I love the length. I love how this uh, unit feels in particular. Um, I got my minimum shedding. Of course, it's synthetic. It's going to shed a little bit more than virgin hair for all my newbies who are into synthetic units. You will get tangles here and there because it is synthetic once again. But yeah. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this install. It looks super duper good. It looks so natural. I'm obsessed. It was quick and easy to install. So yeah, if you guys are interested in this unit, it will be listed down in the description section below. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until my next video, I will see you guys later. Bye guys.